guys? Back with another reaction video. What are we doing today? So we're sticking with the theme of songs that were on our wedding playlist and seeing if they are wedding appropriate. Um, we already had our wedding, like I said, so we're just checking, you know, seeing the vibe of all the songs we put on there. So this is going to be Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes. Um, I love this song. I know you love this song. That's why it's on there. It's fun. Um, but is it wedding appropriate? I'm thinking about that now. Like, we both like the song. I'm like, I don't know why this was really on our wedding playlist. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, a wedding wedding. But, like, you know, play whatever the hell you want. Yeah. But I just want to know <laughs> if it was, like, appropriate or, like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. No. There are some songs that I know are going to be, like, whoa, no. Yeah. And I'm dressed up for my holiday party. I just had it with my job. I work virtually, so I see it in my outfit. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on all social media channels. Links in the description below. And our username is right here on everything. And let's go. Let's go over these lyrics. Yeah, obviously it starts with like oh, such so an iconic like like fucking bass line. Yeah. Guitar. It is extremely iconic. Very it's popular. Very catchy. Yeah. It's yeah, it's a classic. Definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, it's so funny. Um, <clears throat> any rave, anyone who not like the 90s raves. I'm talking about like the 2000s raves once EDM started getting popular. Anyone who's ever been to a festival most likely hears people go, oh, 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 yeah. as they walk around, usually at the end. And obviously that's from this song. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it's like very iconic. Yeah. Like people will do that at every single festival. Probably at like a lot of concerts too. I've just experienced it at raves the most. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, obviously not the same people are at each one every time. It just happens all the time. Okay, so it was, I'm going to fight them off. A seven-nation army couldn't hold me back. Um, fun fact, I saw online that apparently Jack White thought the Salvation Army was called the seven-nation army when he was younger. So, like, that's why they called it the seven-nation army. That's like, kind of like a joke. But also, like, a seven-nation army couldn't hold <laughs> him back. So yeah. he is ready to go. Yes. They're going to rip it off, taking their time right behind my back. I don't know what they're ripping off. Yeah. It's funny. As we started listening to this, I was like, I don't think I ever looked into these lyrics, <laughs> no. like, in my life. Um, they're going to rip it off, taking their time right behind my back. So I'm assuming he's talking about his music. That they're going to rip it off, taking their time right behind my back. Okay. I'm assuming that's what he's referring to. They're going to rip off his music behind his back. And he goes, and I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget. Back and forth through my mind behind a cigarette. So he's up at night. 
talking to himself, trying to like figure something out while smoking a cigarette, like very either unsure of something or like weighing out his decision. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm pulling up the lyrics scene yeah. if anybody has uh, and then it goes into and the message coming from my eyes says leave it alone so he the advice that he is giving to himself or receiving from an unknown source is to leave it alone <clears throat> okay so the annotation on lyric genius for they're gonna rip it off taking their time right behind my back says according to jack himself quote the song's about gossip it's about me meg and the people we're dating Jack narrows his rage from everyone down to people who go behind his back, especially all the fake friends that enjoy the gossip. Although Jack and Meg were divorced by the time, the people we're dating could refer to their relationship, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a weird thing to say. It's about you, the girl you were dating, and the people you're dating. Yeah. Um, I guess I could see that. <laughs> like, the Seven Nation Army is all the people who are gossiping about you, and you are not going to let that bring you down or cause you problems and then the message coming from your eyes says leave it alone like it's keeping you up at night but like ultimately you're like just fuck it don't yeah i'm talking know. to myself at night because i can't forget so we can't forget what everybody said and did to him yeah back and forth through my mind behind a cigarette that's cool imagery and yeah. like the way he words that i like that i like that too the message coming from my eyes says leave it alone that's interesting the message coming from his eyes. I feel like he has his eyes closed and that's what he's reading behind his eyelids. That's what I think of. Mm-hmm. What does it say on that? Nothing. Nothing. It's just talking about them. It has nothing to do with the line. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Again, I'm dumb. Jack's not dating Meg. It's his sister. I thought they were married. I'm pretty, or is it? Why do I think it's a sister? Divorced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people thought that was a sister, but they're not related. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, wait, I'm really confused. <laughs> no, I remember. I used to think they were married because they have the same last, I mean, brother and sister because yeah, they have the same last name. And they kind of look sense. alike. But yeah, they're not married anymore. I was confused by the thing about them dating. I was like, wait, mm -hmm. like, it doesn't seem right. And I feel like I'd heard that they were related. But they are just married. They were. They're they were divorced married. now. There's some weird shit going on. Like, I think they were still performing, but then not really. Yeah. Now they were divorced. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Don't want to hear about it. Every single one's got a story to tell. Everyone knows about it. From the Queen of England to the of hell and if I catch it coming back my way I'm gonna serve it to you and that ain't what you want to hear but that's what I'll do and the feeling coming from my bones that's my home. My favorite part. <laughs> I think it's everybody's favorite part. <clears throat> it is everyone's favorite part. Is it me or is the quality of this version of the song not great? Or is it just me? I never notice that stuff. People always comment on that and they're like, oh, the quality was bad. I'm like, I don't notice any of that. It just sounds like the well, song to uh, me. Those head I've tried your headphones suck. I don't know how you use them. <laughs> These are at least I can decent. hear the song. You can it hear the sounds song, the same. No. Nah. So to me, let me know because 
to me, this is a shit quality. It doesn't sound right in my ears, but mm. whatever. Well, he goes, don't want to hear about it. Every single one's got a story to tell. Everyone knows about it. So this is about the gossip again. From the Queen of England to the Hounds of Hell. So he's saying everybody knows about it. He doesn't even want to hear about it anymore. <laughs> and then when he says every every single one's got a story to tell, it's like, oh, I know you got your reasons and your whole your sob story, but I don't want to hear it. Or right their now. own version of the gossip, their own version of what happened. Yeah. He goes, and if I catch it coming back my way, I'm going to serve it to you. And that ain't what you want to hear, but that's what I'll do. So he's going to serve you back the gossip. He's going to fight you. Yeah. I'm not sure. Make and me goes, eat it. Ooh. <laughs> All right. He goes, and the feeling coming from my bones says find a home. That's interesting. I don't know what that means. So I guess maybe he feels alone. And, you know, he's popular and all these people are, like, saying shit and he needs to, like, find a home where he's safe and, like, people aren't talking shit. Yeah, where shit. people like him. Let's see if there's any annotations on this. And to go to a safer, you know, like, a more safe place. It says, this verse also introduces the theme continued to the end of the song of feeling he is without a home and retreating from his current situation to a safer world. So, yeah. All right. So, and Tiffany here. I don't know why I thought they were brother and sister. Everybody did. <laughs> that was like a thing. Yeah, I'm not like the biggest White Stripes fan. I like, I think I just know this song. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't hate on me for that. I'm going to Wichita. Far from this opera forever. Okay, so he goes, I'm going to Wichita. Wichita is in Kansas, Kansas. right? Okay. Kansas. Yeah. Yay. And then he goes, far from this opera forevermore. So opera, like a soap opera, like drama, gossip, bullshit. Play, yeah. I'm going to work the straw. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, so I just assume like on a farm. Oh, in, in Wichita. Make the sweat drip out of every pore. So he's just going to work his ass off. And I'm bleeding and I'm bleeding and I'm bleeding right before the Lord. So, like, that could mean a bunch of things. You could take it super superficially and being like, oh, he's bleeding because he's working on the farm. Or you could take it, he's bleeding, he's leaving himself bare, open, right before the Lord and being like, here, like, this is what's been going on, like, absolve me of whatever. Or he's bleeding, like, he's hurt by all the people around him being like fake gossipy people, not being good friends to him, not being like caring of him, or he's looking for salvation, turning to Jesus, turning to God. Yeah. So I take the bleeding is from the hard work on the farm. Okay. Right yeah. before the Lord. God. Okay. And he goes, all the words are going to bleed for me and I will think no more. As he say, think no more, or sing no more. Because I always thought he was saying Just sing. Think. Think. All right. So all the words are going to bleed for me and I will think no more. So he's no longer going to be bothered by all this nonsense. So on this like annotation here um, for this like little verse here, it yeah. says the speaker is considered hiding away from the drama, going to Wichita and living a life with a normal job, working with straw. However, he realizes that this choice would crush his creativity and would leave him worthless. He would sing no more. So there's, yeah, see, the annotation says sing no more. 
So, okay. So instead he resolves to go back home away from Wichita and take on the bullshit to further reinforce his resolve. Yeah, because then he says, and the stains coming from my blood tell me go back home. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. So Wichita's not home. No, but I didn't read it like that. I read it like, oh, all the words are going to bleed from him. He's not going to think anymore. Like he's bleeding. Like he's like, um, he's getting like, yeah, he's like at peace. And then like, oh, no more like constant chatter in his brain that was keeping him up at night and now he's just you know simple and peaceful i guess is another way you could see it and then he goes like yeah your blood's telling you to go the fuck back home yeah you don't belong here it's up for you so it's it's yeah it's interesting so he as the song progresses he's talking about all the bullshit he doesn't like right and then he's like all right i gotta find a real home i gotta get away from here and live a different life and then it's like okay I go to live that life, but that's not for me either. So I'm just going to go back to where I started from. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Basically. It's crazy. All right. So what do we think? Is this appropriate for a wedding? I mean, like. like, Not applicable. Yeah, no. It has absolutely nothing to do with a wedding. No. It's like Maybe not. about like people <laughs> gossiping, like maybe if like people were gossiping about us and we wanted to send them like a little subliminal message, <laughs> but like that wasn't happening and that's not the case. <laughs> um, but yeah, no problems with it being at a wedding, just no problems, but no, nothing negative, nothing positive. Just like if it's playing, like it is what it is. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this song has that iconic fucking bass line yeah. and that and that drum and that you know the guitar. So it for me, it, it's really about the sound of it sonically as yeah, opposed to the lyrics. Sure. You know what I mean? No, I agree with you on that. I'm all about sound so over it's good for that. <laughs> lyrics. Yeah, I'm any typically day. <laughs> I'm typically not, but I feel I like although you know breaking down the lyrics here, it does have an interesting you know meaning that I never really considered. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, so we both love this song. Definitely a crowd pleaser of a song. So do I recommend it for weddings? Yes. <laughs> yeah. A resounding yes. Do yes. it. No one will question it. And if they do, they're just losers anyway. Yes. So yeah. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe.